hello uh, we will learn in this session uh, sqs creation through cloud formation so sqs is a simple queue service and uh, we need to create a queues and basically we will learn uh, creating the queue through the cloud formation so let's see how it going to create so let's go to cloud formation uh, this is my previous one so I am just deleting so let's create new stack uh, let's go into the design template and uh, here we will take the SQS as an object so this is SQS and this is SQS queue ok let's go to template uh, this is the default template and I am going to delete this one and I have written the template for uh, SQS here and you can see the template so it's defined like this so first one is uh, description and metadata this informative things and this is the parameter so understand the parameter so in a parameter there are the one is the delay second so we have given the delay second here the minimum value is uh, supported by the SQS is the 0 and maximum is 900 and we are giving that 0 as a default uh, message retention period this is the configuration for the message retention period and this is the minimum value and here we will pass the default value Q name so we have just given the configuration here we are not passing the Q name hard coded it will ask the when you create the uh, import the template it will ask the name of the Q uh, visibility timeout visibility timeout is uh, default configuration here is 300 so these are the, this is the parameter and this parameter are using in uh, creating the resource so we create we are going to create the SQS and this is the name of the queue uh, configuration queue and this is the type so you have to give the exactly same as given here and uh, properties the property is the delay second so this is the reference given the delay second which are defined in parameter this is the delay second same as the message retention period, uh, same as the mess queue name. Uh, red drive policy is created for uh, date letter queue DLQ, and you have to create a queue uh, separately for a DLQ. So we have given the another date letter queue ARN. ARN means uh, it's a URL. So here we have created the uh, date letter queue and uh, this is the same as the sqs queue so we create a date letter queue type is a queue and the property so it will join the existing name given in queue name, queue name and with hyphen hyphen dlq <coughs> so it will map that this uh, dlq with the main queue and this is the visibility timeout uh, this is the output things and here what we are creating this we are mapping that it's a q u u a r n q name uh, q u u r u r i and q a r n q name s k s q a r i so let's import this template so i'm copying this one and just pasting here validating this uh, json and configuration written by me it's right or wrong so if you got the screen then that means uh, your json is valid so now creating the next uh, giving the name of uh, stack so giving the stack name and giving the q name is test hyphen request so this configuration we already given is a default that's why it's given here no need to update let's go and create stack Here your stack is created. You can see the status of your stack. It's created. So let's go to SPS. Sorry, it's SNS. So we need to go for SPS. 
so our queue is ready and this is a dl queue this is a delay time this is a configuration so, okay. so this is the best way to create the queue using the cloud permission thank you for watching this video please subscribe my channel for more videos